Hi, this is a quick look at what's new in Balsamic Mockups version 3. We have some changes to, that will make wireframing even easier now for you. And the first thing you'll notice is that we have a new file format. Uh, now Balsamic comes with a, a single file that will hold all of your assets and symbols so you don't have to deal with folders anymore. And we have a lot of interface changes that should help make it uh, simpler to uh, manage all of these assets. So here's our project file here that includes all the wireframes in this deck. And if we use our navigator in the new toolbar, you'll see all your assets and symbols have new interfaces to manage those as well. The project's format also allows us to uh, move items like uh, wireframes to the trash and then restore them if we want to change our mind at some point. You'll see this wireframe come back into our deck at the top. Here we go. And this is a look at the grid view for your wireframes. Uh, if you wanted to move things around, that's a quick way to do it. And we also made some changes to the property inspector. And if we look at the panel on the right side, you'll see that we've docked the property inspector so that it's uh, no longer floating. And when you select control uh, in your wireframe, you'll see the inspector change when, if it's visible. And if you have a wireframe selected but no controls um, selected, you can add notes for your mockup, which is something new. And you can also do the same for the entire project. So you could add some notes for the project or annotation in there as well. For the first time, we're also introducing project settings. So you can change your skin from sketch to wireframe or change the default font for the entire project and the uh, font size and selection color. You can also toggle all the panels off and work in focus mode. We also made some improvements for editing. Uh, first thing you'll notice doing quick add is that um, there are now thumbnails in the quick add. So you can look, add for, look for controls, icons, and images, and those thumbnails will appear in the completion menu. Uh, we also are adding the Font Awesome icon set, so you can add those icons directly from the UI library or from Quick Add now. Small improvement to um, uh, alignment, smart alignment. If you are nudging controls now, we show, we show you smart alignment guides. This was only available in drag uh, before. And another improvement is that you can forward link. So if you select a control and add a link, um, you can uh, create a new mockup from that link. So it's a bit like making forward links in a wiki. Symbols also got some love. We have a uh, new symbols interface for managing and organizing your symbols. It's still pretty simple to create a symbol. You don't have to create names now. So you can just group a set of controls, convert it to group, uh, convert symbol rather. And then uh, if you want to, you can rename the symbol from this new symbols interface. Here's our symbol in place in the wireframe. And I'm just going to click Edit Source here to go back to the symbols interface here. And if you look around here, you'll see that there's a new panel on the left, which shows the project symbols. This is our symbols library. And then below that, is sort of a tree, it's a sort of a tree control that shows all the symbols in this library. And it, we have a new icon here so that you can click that. And when you're editing one symbol, you'll see the others in context, the little onion skin uh, control. And adding new symbols library uh, can be done right from the UI. Uh, here we're adding a new symbol library. And you can do the same um, by adding symbols libraries you've downloaded from mockups to go or from your colleagues. So I'll download this Apple Watch library here and then import it. So there it is. And then I'll use this um, import button. And then I'll just add this here and it'll show up in the symbols panels or in the left. Last thing we'll look at is full screen presentation mode. And we've now added settings, notes, and navigation improvements here. So um, in your, when you're in a project, click full screen presentation, and then look for these icons in the upper right. And the settings icon will let you change your link, hints, your cursor, markup, and zoom settings. And if you click the inspector icon, you can now add notes. If you're presenting, you can capture comments and feedback during your presentation. And there is now a navigation menu as well to jump to any other wireframe in your deck or to move back and forth in the history if you're doing a usability test session or that sort of thing.
So those are the uh, most obvious changes you'll see in version 3. Uh, the best thing to do is to download it and give it a try, and you can see all of the new improvements in our What's New in Balsamic Mockups version 3 page. Thanks.